As we made our way to Tintagel Castle, the clouds and rain clear just in time to reveal a magnificent sunset, a beautiful end to the day and great start to our adventure. The castle was obviously closed so we're going to go and check out Tintagel Beach which is just underneath and home to Merlin's Cove which is literally a 300 foot long tunnel cave that runs underneath Tintagel Island and the castle and you can end up on the other side completely. So we weren't able to get all the way through, but we couldn't help but having a little look. Oh, it does it. We could see all the way through to the end, but with high tide approaching, it was much better idea to get back out on the beach. So if you get here late, like we have, then you're going to be disappointed because the beach disappears completely at high tide. So we had a short but sweet explore and sat by the waterfall which runs down from the valley on the north side of the beach and watched the remainder of the sunset before the beach became the sea. Yes, <laughs> Look, this view. Excuse me, legs. Yeah. Legs are leather. <laughs> this view. I've got a love of the legs. Sorry. Got a little horse in my throat. Mm. I mean, frog. Horse. A horse. Have you got a fox in there? <laughs> Got you have to keep it in there. Fox, horse. Fox. Fox. Like yeah, sure. A frog, you know, it's meant to be a frog in your throat. And yeah, we found this um what's it called? Rough tour car park. It's a forestry commission. For, yeah, a forestry commission place that I'm not really sure. So it's free, woo, and open. <laughs> we couldn't really find anywhere last night. We were in that place that I can't really say, Tingatel. Tingel. Ting Ting Tingel. And it was really lacking in places to stay for free. Mm. So we just drove a little bit out and then still thought there was nowhere to stay but then we found this place and it was just 13 minutes away. So that was good. What's wrong? I smacked my head and I walked into the wall. Mm. You silly. And then I walked into a rock last night. Oh, you silly bean. I am very silly. Look, that's old rough tour. Whatever the hell that means. Raw tour. Rough tour. It's going to rain on rough tour. Aye. It's going to piss it down all over it. It's got a big black cloud. So walking up to this rough tour place, <laughs> just sounds so weird saying it, like walking up to rough tour, it's pretty rough. Yeah, and a Cornwall area of outstanding national beauty. There's a nice little lake over there with some white sort of chalky cliffs, which looks nice. So if we get hot enough, that'll be a nice street at the end.
only got hit. <laughs> Snowball fight. <laughs> Get away from that. Net. Ah! Oh my god, that's so nearly got me. Oh, shit, frisbee! <laughs> hey. This monument is erected by public subscription in memory of Charlotte Diamond, who was murdered here by Matthew Weeks on Sunday, April 14th, 1844. Wow. Poor gal. Murdered here. Murdered here. Some good time, and then literally just got in the car. Storm cloud is coming. So, this is our home now. Just randomly found this place. Amy just picked it. We're gonna move out of there to sleep for the nice view in the morning. Yeah, excited. This be our home now. Oh yeah. Thanks. I've seen this creature clambering across the rocks. Oh, there, there it is, there it is. Oh, what is it? It's coming straight for me. Oh, God. Oh, it looks... God, where's it going? Oh, it looks like... Oh, it's, got, it's got a mole horn! It's got a mole horn. It looks angry. Oh, oh. What's it doing? Displaying. Displaying a friendly nature, but at the last minute can turn savagely attack you. Taking the form of a human. Oh, Acting like, oh, there's nothing to see here, and then last minute, I just will run. Oh, it's that thing. It's the thing that you stand in for, like the wakeboarding. It looks like a shark. So that's clear. It's a little cloud. This is still a bit blue. This is our home now. This will be filled with water in the morning. <laughs> Looking all nice and blue. Yeah, oh, it's raining. How is it raining? Do you know what I mean? Like, how? Jalamoy! Got a bit of a lazy dinner for tonight, spicy bean with cheese wrap and a few grapes. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Just 
just had some massive storm just come out of nowhere and just force us into the car, shoved all our chairs in and stuff. And then luckily the fire survived, so we've just been sort of squatting around it trying to get dry and <laughs> hovering the chairs over them and drying that. Um, and then it started to rain again, so we're back in the car. <laughs> But yeah, it's worked out really well. We found a really nice spot just randomly. I'm going to wake up here and the estuary's all disappeared tonight, but it's going to be all full in the morning. It's going to be a lovely view. Mm. Oh. Blue skies over here and grey skies and rain jackets over here. Literally we've had like six or seven huge downpours um, but then also loads of time where it's just been sunny and sometimes there's been no wind at all and other times it's like wah, wah, you know grab your stuff sort of thing. walking from like Bosnia and somewhere people but yeah look at this and how cool is this cave super sheltered because it's just been having really um random spurts of like rain uh, you wouldn't tell from obviously now so yeah so we're gonna have our nice lunch in peace no rain lovely view no people, no people. <laughs> yeah, we've even got a chair look at this luxury Cheeky copper bear, cheeky cobra, and a little cave.
first plan didn't really work so we followed a little road down to this place called Crowdy Reservoir and luckily there is a nice little car park here at the bottom for us still got a little bit of nice sky going on uh, I don't think this is going to be overly busy I think people are going to be more at the beaches and stuff like that so hopefully we'll uh, be people free tomorrow but we're definitely going to get up a little bit earlier uh, to make a bit more of the day I think but yeah literally I'm showing around a black screen except for a little bit of the car yes yeah, so this will do this will do we uh we thought we had it really good and we parked in this in this field and and there was no one else there and it was lovely and then the guy came down like I'm shutting the gate now we were like okay but then he let us finish our noodles so that was good I'm gonna go to sleep soon because it's nearly about 10 o'clock and I'm quite tired so I think we're gonna have an early night hit the hair as they say <laughs> oh my god oh my god that branch literally nearly just hit me that was so scary Oof. Sheesh. We just finished exploring St Nectan's waterfall which was absolutely lovely, it was like a 60 foot waterfall coming through um, a little hole in the rocks, it was so nice and now we've just, we couldn't find anywhere to stay so we've come to Colliford Lake and we're getting absolutely pelted with rain and wind <coughs> and yeah all we have downloaded is Orange is the New Black which we've already watched so we're just sitting there re-watching re -watching that. Drinking a cider and a beer. We're gonna try and get in the back soon and like sort of bring all the stuff forwards and not tr try not to get out the car. It's quite difficult, but we can do it. Yeah. Yeah, for smoothie. Perfect rainy morning breakfast treat.
If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. This is the end of our Cornwall trip now, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!